Question four. We are told that A, B, C, and D are integers, so they're all going to be whole numbers. And we're given two equations comparing A and B, comparing B and C, and we're given a ratio comparing A and D. And we're being asked to find a ratio A to B to C to D. So the fact that we've got so many letters involved, if we want to actually be able to create a ratio here with numbers in it, we're going to have to have all of these letters be expressed in terms of one variable. So either all of um, these three need to have D's in them, and then we can compare them with that, or all of these need to have an A in it, so we can compare it with that. And kind of the way it's set up here, I'm going to go with the going go, going to go with the A's because it actually features in two of these. And I don't know, it's just easier to get A on its own there, in my opinion. It wouldn't actually matter which letter you choose um, to have them all be expressed as. So there's more than one way of doing this. I invite you to sort of find a different way other than the one I'm about to show you. So um, B is going to be, if we divide both sides by five here, B will be four-fifths of A. So that basically means that I have locked up this part in terms of A. Let me erase that so I can use that color later. Um, this here, um, C is three quarters of B. So on, its, on the surface, it doesn't look like we've got much there. But what I forgot to write here is that B equals four-fifths of A. So that four-fifths of A, we can actually plug in here to get C in terms of A. So three quarters of four-fifths of A is C and simplifying that fraction, multiplying them and cancelling, we'll get 3 fifths A, which suddenly gives us C. So we now have that. Lastly, to get D, we have everything that we need here, because although we've been given this as a ratio, D is going to be 5 thirds times as big. Another way you could look at this is, in terms of your A and D as a ratio, if you simplify that by dividing both sides by 3, you end up with this. So you get a scale factor from that, D is five-thirds times as big as A. And that then gives us the last piece of this puzzle to sub in, like so. So we have a single A on the left-hand side. We have four-fifths of A is the next part of our ratio. We have three-fifths of A, which is the next part of our ratio. And lastly, we have five-thirds of A in our ratio. In order to simplify that, we're going to divide every side by A, first of all. So we just have the following raw numbers. 1 to 4 fifths to 3 fifths to 5 thirds. Because of the fact that we are asked to show this ratio in terms of integers, we do not want any of those fractions. We've got 2 over 5s times in 5, we'll get rid of them. And we have an over 3 times in 3, we'll get rid of it. Therefore, we are going to multiply all four parts of this by 15. 1 times 15 gives us 15. 4 fifths times 15 gives us 12. 3 fifths times 15 gives us 9. And 5 thirds times 15 gives us 25. And that is our ratio. Done.